With the global population swiftly approaching 8 billion, the world is brimming with diversity. Families come in all shapes and sizes, each with an extraordinary story to tell. You think your family is difficult or strange. Wait till you explore families grappling with rare genetic conditions or those who defy societal conventions in ways both captivating and unconventional. Brace yourself as we explore the 20 most unusual families you won't believe exist. Number 20. The Shauhan Family Residing in Hyderabad, India, the Shauhans have garnered attention as the Dwarf Family. The family of 11 comprises a mother and father and their children. Nine of the family members have achondroplasia, a form of dwarfism. Achondroplasia arises from a genetic mutation that disrupts normal bone growth, resulting in shorter limbs. This rare condition affects approximately 1 in 25,000 births. What makes the Shohan family even more exceptional is the rarity of multiple family members inheriting the condition. Research indicates that about 80% of achondroplasia cases occur spontaneously due to new mutations, while the remaining 20% are inherited from an affected parent. Despite having a challenging life, the Shauhan family has endeavored to pull through normally. Both parents have worked diligently to support their family. Meanwhile, the children have pursued education and engaged in extracurricular activities, striving to carve out their own paths and pursue their passions despite their unique physical characteristics. If you think this was tough or unusual, watch till the end. You'll surely be surprised. Number 19. 100 Wives King Abumbi II, the ruler of Bafud in Cameroon, is best known for the intricacies of tradition and familial bonds that have defined his life. The king alone presides over a staggering 100 wives. Following the death of his father in 1968, Abumbi ascended to the throne, inheriting not only the royal title, but also his father's extensive harem of wives. In Cameroon, where polygamy is not only legal but deeply rooted in tradition, it is customary for the successor to inherit all of his predecessor's wives. Thus, in addition to his own 28 wives, Abumbai found himself responsible for his father's 72 wives. The king's familial responsibilities also extend to the upbringing and well-being of over 500 children born from his myriad unions. The elder wives impart cultural knowledge and palace etiquette to the younger wives, ensuring the preservation of age-old customs within the royal household. While the practice of polygamy faces increasing scrutiny and challenges in modern Cameroon, Abumbi remains steadfast. Despite societal shifts and evolving attitudes, he views his expansive family not only as a reflection of tradition, but also as a vital component of his role as a custodian of local customs. Interestingly enough, he remembers the names and individual stories of each of his 100 wives. Now that's something. Number 18. Ulas. Family's peculiar gait. Hailing from southern Turkey, the Ulas family is known for their unique way of moving. They walk on all fours, using both their hands and feet. This has caught the interest of scientists and others, but the exact reason for their unusual walking style is still a mystery. Some think it could be because of a rare gene passed down in their family, especially since siblings often have similar issues. Some argue that their walking pattern could be a kind of reverse evolution, meaning they're going back to how our ancestors moved millions of years ago on all fours. Another connection is with a rare neurological disorder called Unarthen syndrome, which causes similar movement problems. Number 17. The Red and White Family Led by the patriarch Seven Raj, the Red and White Family has put together their lives with only two colors. The origins of this chromatic devotion trace back to Seven Raj's youth, where the simple addition of a red tie to his ensemble sparked a lifelong love affair with the color duo. From that fateful day forward, Red and white became a defining feature of Seven Raj's identity. 
Today, the family's wardrobes brim with crimson coats, snowy shirts, and scarlet trousers. Seven Raj himself boasts an extensive collection, including over 30 ties, 15 coats, 30 shirts, and 25 pairs of trousers, all red and white only. Their home, too, is adorned with red and white decor from floor to ceiling. Even everyday items, such as tables, armchairs, and home appliances, bear the unmistakable stamp of their favorite hues. By now, you're probably wondering, what kind of a name is Seven Raj? Well, he was named for being the seventh child in his family, and has embraced the digit with fervor. From his car's license plate to the languages he speaks, seven in total, including Kannada, English, Hindi, Telugu, Tamil, Marathi, and his native Malayalam, Seven Raj is religiously attached to the number. Despite initial skepticism and ridicule from outsiders, Seven Raj and his family have remained steadfast in their devotion to red and white. Even Seven Raj's foray into acting saw him maintain his vibrant identity, donning red and white even when cast as the villain in a local film production. For Seven Raj and his family, the allure of red and white is a lifestyle, a badge of uniqueness that sets them apart from the crowd. Number 16. The Manarung Family Hailing from Indonesia, the Manarung family is known for a rare and distinctive condition that causes their facial features to change shape over time. This phenomenon stems from abnormalities in bone and muscle development. Members of the family have prominent foreheads and eyes spaced farther apart than usual. While the exact nature of their condition is not fully understood, it is believed to be associated with a disorder called ectodermal dysplasia. This disorder affects the development of various structures derived from the ectoderm, including the skin, hair, nails, teeth, and sweat glands. Although the specifics remain unclear, the Manarung family's condition has garnered widespread attention from various media outlets due to their unique appearance. Some sources suggest that medical interventions, such as dental implants, skin grafts, and reconstructive surgeries, may help alleviate the symptoms of ectodermal dysplasia. However, it is uncertain whether the Manarung family has undergone these treatments or how they may have impacted their condition. Number 15. No Arms Katie Jackson Bannon and her son, Timmy, were both born without arms due to a rare genetic condition known as holt orum syndrome. This syndrome affects the development of the heart and upper limbs. It occurs in approximately 1 in 100,000 newborns. If one parent has the mutation for holt orum syndrome, there's a 50% chance that their child will inherit it too. This explains why both Katie and Jackson are affected by the condition. Along with the absence of arms, individuals with holt orum syndrome may also have heart defects and other medical issues. Treatment for holt orum syndrome typically involves surgery to correct any heart abnormalities. Additionally, occupational therapy plays a crucial role in helping individuals adapt and learn to perform daily tasks using their feet or other adaptive technology. However, what is so peculiar about this family duo is that they haven't allowed this disability to come in the way of a loving and fulfilling relationship with one another. The duo enjoy all the things that one can hope for in a normal life, including their passion for swimming. Surely the bond of a mother and son can surpass everything. Number 14. The Lion Family while most families might have had a pet dog or a friendly cat, one family took it to the extreme by living with lions. No, you heard it right. Lions. But why would anyone do that? Well, it was all for a movie called Roar, a drama thriller released in 1981. Tippi Hedren, Noel Marshall, and their daughter Melanie Griffith not only starred in the film, but also decided to immerse themselves fully into their roles by actually living with lions. 
they adopted a lion named Neil to live with them during the filming. However, Neil was no ordinary lion. He was wild and untamed. The filming process was anything but smooth, as Neil's unpredictable behavior caused chaos and danger for everyone involved, including the family members themselves. Despite the risks and challenges, the family persisted, and the movie was eventually completed. However, the production was plagued with setbacks, injuries, and financial losses. Despite the massive $17 million budget, the film only managed to gross around $2 million at the box office. The Lion family's daring adventure may have been a risky and costly endeavor, but it certainly left a lasting legacy in the world of cinema. Number 13. The Hairiest Family Renowned worldwide, the hairiest family grapples with a rare genetic condition known as hypertrichosis. This anomaly triggers excessive hair growth across their entire bodies. The family members experience a much rarer, generalized type of disease, where hair proliferates uniformly throughout the body. Globally, fewer than 100 individuals are estimated to have the generalized form of hypertrichosis, making it an exceedingly uncommon condition. Despite its rarity, the family has garnered significant attention, earning recognition from Guinness World Records as the family with the highest number of members affected by hypertrichosis. Their story has also captivated media outlets and sparked interest in understanding the genetic and physiological underpinnings of this intriguing condition. Number 12. The Polyamorous Family Joe Darger's life may seem perfectly normal if you were to look at a family portrait, except for one tiny detail. The three women around him happen to be his wives. Darger is married to twin sisters Vicky and Valerie, along with their cousin Alina. Following a fundamentalist Mormon belief system, the Dargers have embraced a family structure that is deemed outdated for the 21st century. With a total of 24 children, their bustling household is always brimming with action and adventure. The story began over two decades ago, when Joe and Vicky exchanged vows. Little did they know that their union would eventually expand to include Valerie, who joined the family as Joe's third wife in 2000. Each wife has her own bedroom, and Joe alternates between their rooms each evening. While society at large often frown upon multiple marriages, the Dargers remained steadfast in their way of life. At one point, they even faced investigation by state authorities. Initially, they kept their lifestyle under wraps. However, the family later made the bold decision to share their extraordinary journey by writing their own book. From their perspective, they wished to raise awareness about the diverse ways in which people can find love and happiness, even if it doesn't fit conventional norms. Polyamory is not for most, but it surely seems to fit the Dargers just fine. Number 11. Tattoos Unleashed Shamika, a fashion designer and tattoo enthusiast, has garnered attention on social media for tattooing her one-year-old son, Treyland. Each tattoo on Treyland, according to Shamika, symbolizes a milestone in his life. Despite facing criticism from many, Shamika persists in tattooing her son, believing that she's being a supportive mother by expressing her love and dedication. She herself also bears tattoos all over her face and neck, viewing them as a form of personal expression that shouldn't be stigmatized. This love for tattoos has also influenced her work as a fashion designer, where she creates clothing with tattoo-style patterns. However, Shamika's decision to tattoo her son has sparked controversy online. Despite the backlash, Shamika maintains that she's prioritizing her son's interests and well-being. She clarifies that all the tattoos she's given him are temporary. What do you think about tattooing minors? Let us know in the comments section below. Number 10. The Power Couple and Their Family Nick and Callie Best a professional powerlifting couple hailing from Georgia, are renowned for their incredible strength and unwavering dedication to fitness. The duo has forged a path of excellence in the world of powerlifting. Their two children, Dylan and Jessica, 
have also followed suit. Their extraordinary journey was showcased on the TLC show, The Strongest Family in the World, offering viewers a glimpse into their daily lives. The couple dedicates at least three hours a day, six days a week to honing their craft. As a result, Nick has set multiple records in powerlifting and Callie has also competed at the national level. Despite their grueling schedule, the family remains their top priority. Nick and Callie make it a point to spend quality time with their children, nurturing their talents and fostering a love for strength training. Their son, Dylan, also demonstrated astonishing feats of strength at a tender age. Their daughter, Jessica, also followed in her family's footsteps, actively participating in strength training activities alongside her brother and parents. Together, the best family values resilience, determination, and familial support above all. And they are fueled by their common passions in doing so. Number 9. The Giant Family Living in Minnesota, USA, the Trapp family has secured the prestigious Guinness World Record for their remarkable height. Comprised of siblings Scott, Chrissy, Savannah, Molly, and Adam, they have captivated global attention with their towering stature. With an average height of 6 feet 6 inches or approximately 2.3 meters, the Trapp family members stand out wherever they go. Adam Trapp, the youngest of the siblings, is already a giant at 7 feet 3 inches, or 22.21 meters. Savannah stands at an impressive 6 feet 6 inches, or 2.3 meters. Even Chrissy, the shortest among them, stands tall at 6 feet 3 inches, or 1.9 meters. Despite the challenges that come with their towering height, such as finding clothes that fit properly, and navigating spaces designed for average-sized individuals. The Trap family has embraced their uniqueness. They have even turned their exceptional height into an advantage, particularly in sports. So far, three of the Trap children have pursued athletic endeavors, excelling in basketball and volleyball at the collegiate level. Their towering height provides a significant advantage on the court, allowing them to dominate with their impressive reach and agility. Through hard work, dedication, and a shared passion for sports, the Trapp family has proven that their extraordinary height is not merely a physical trait, but also a source of strength and success. Number 8. The Glass Family from Belize Anise Lamaro was born with a rare condition known as brittle bone disease, or osteogenesis imperfecta, which makes her bones extremely fragile and prone to breaking. Throughout her life, Anise has endured approximately 200 broken bones, earning her the nickname Maid of Glass. At just two years old, Anise had to live in a children's home due to her condition. However, her life took a beautiful turn when she was seven years old, Lisa Ferrero and Chris Lamoureux, who also have brittle bone disease, adopted her. The couple, who had gone through similar hardship, wished to provide understanding and support tailored to their child's needs. Anise's family, including her grandma, all use wheelchairs for mobility, and they have worked hard to create safe and comfortable homes for everyone. They have adapted their living spaces to accommodate their unique requirements, ensuring accessibility and ease of movement for all. The Glass family also has service dogs that help them with daily tasks, such as closing the refrigerator door. These furry companions enhance their independence and quality of life. Despite the challenges, the remarkable Glass family exemplifies love, resilience, and strength in the face of adversity. No matter what obstacles they encounter, the Glass family demonstrates that with love and support, anything is possible. Number 7. The World's Largest Family The Indian Shana family made headlines as the world's largest family, boasting an astonishing 39 wives and 94 children under the patriarch Ziona. The now-deceased Ziona resided with his extensive household in a magnificent pink four-story mansion in India's Mizoram state, 
Everyone in the family lived together under one roof, but it was no ordinary home either. The mansion was meticulously designed to accommodate their large family, featuring multiple kitchens, prayer halls, and bedrooms to ensure everyone's comfort. With an impressive hundred rooms, the family's mansion was equipped with its own power and water supply. Ziona Shana started building this colossal family at the tender age of 17. After marrying his first wife, he continued to add to his family by marrying a new wife each year, ultimately culminating in a total of 39 wives. Together they welcomed an astounding 94 children into the world, with the youngest being born in 2019. Despite the sheer size of the family, all of Ziana's wives reportedly lived together peacefully, with their ages ranging from 70 years old to as young as 39. Number 6. The Sailor Family Kristen Christiansen and Sofena Kwon, hailing from Vancouver, British Columbia, have embarked on a unique journey. These fearless sailors have chosen to live on a majestic 60-foot-long sailboat for nearly a decade. This was a deliberate choice, allowing them to navigate Vancouver's pricey housing market and save a considerable amount of money. For Kristen and Sofina, living on a boat has become a lifestyle they cherish. Despite having two young children, Kristen and Sofina have embraced boat life wholeheartedly, and their kids have adapted to this unconventional lifestyle like seasoned sailors. When it was time for their little ones to enter the world, Sofina made the bold decision to give birth on the boat, with the support of skilled midwives. Not many can boast of being born on a boat. Of course, living on a boat presents its challenges, from minor inconveniences like limited hot water to ensuring they have enough wood for their stove on chilly nights. However, Kristen and Sofena look at these challenges as part of the adventure. A few extra layers of clothing are a small price to pay for the unparalleled freedom and sense of fulfillment their boat life offers. The family epitomizes the spirit of adventure, resilience, and familial bond that defines their extraordinary journey as a family living on a sailboat. Number 5. Children. Children and more children. In the annals of maternal history, few stories rival the remarkable saga of Valentina Vasiliev, a woman whose extraordinary fertility made her the most exhausted mother in the world. Residing in the quaint town of Shuya, Russia, during the late 18th and early 19th centuries, Valentina's life unfolded amidst the backdrop of a society marked by traditional values and communal support. Her astounding maternal journey began with her union to a blacksmith of considerable strength and robust health, Fyodor Vasiliev. Together, they embarked on a path that would lead to the birth of 67 children. This prolific brood was comprised of an astonishing 16 sets of twins, 7 sets of triplets, and 4 sets of quadruplets. Living in poverty, the Vasilyevs relied heavily on the benevolence of their tight-knit community to meet the myriad needs of their ever-expanding household. From nourishment to clothing and education, the family was sustained by the collective efforts of their neighbors, who rallied around them in solidarity. The motivations behind all of this, however, remain shrouded in mystery. Some speculate that Valentina sought to secure the enduring legacy of her family name, while others suggest more practical considerations drove their choices. Regardless of their reasons, the Vasilyev's commitment to expanding their family defied societal norms and expectations. Remarkably, all of Valentina's offspring survived infancy. In a time marked by high infant mortality rates and socioeconomic hardships, this achievement was nothing short of extraordinary. Valentina's story, though centuries old, continues to resonate with audiences today, and that says more than enough about the peculiarity of her situation. Number 4. The Fix Finger Family the Da Silva family from Brazil proudly defy convention with their fascinating genetic trait. All of them have six fingers and toes. This remarkable characteristic has been passed down through generations with the newest member of their family. 
Within the Da Silva household, having six fingers and toes is considered a family treasure. They have witnessed firsthand how these additional digits can be harnessed for exceptional talents. Vinicus's older brother, Joao Assis, uses his extra fingers as a talented goalkeeper. Similarly, his sister, Maria Morena, skillfully plays the piano, using her additional fingers to reach more keys and create beautiful melodies. The genetic condition responsible for their extra digits is called polydactyly, a relatively common syndrome. However, what sets the Da Silvas apart is that all of their extra fingers and toes are fully functional. Number 3. Piebaldism The piebald family has a fascinating genetic condition known as piebaldism. This rare genetic disorder impacts melanocytes, the cells responsible for producing pigment in the skin, hair, and eyes. The family members exhibit depigmented patches on their skin and hair. Piebaldism usually presents with depigmentation from birth and remains stable over time. If one parent carries the mutated gene, each child has a 50% chance of inheriting the condition. This condition is exceptionally rare, affecting approximately 1 in 20,000 people worldwide. The piebald family, based in the United States, has garnered attention in various media outlets due to their shared experience with piebaldism. Their story serves as a testament to the diversity and complexity of genetic conditions, shedding light on the challenges and unique characteristics that make each individual and family truly one of a kind. Number 2. The Likov Family The story of the Likov family is one of extraordinary perseverance, survival skills, and independence. For over 40 years, this family of six lived in complete isolation in the Siberian wilderness, starting in the 1930s. Headed by their patriarch, Karp Likov, the family consisted of his wife Aquilina and their four children, two sons, Savin and Dmitri, and two daughters, Natalia and Agafia. They isolated themselves due to a deep mistrust of the Soviet government and their strong Christian beliefs. Seeking refuge from threats, they fled to the remote forests of Siberia, where they built a makeshift dwelling. Cut off from modern amenities and devoid of communication with the outside world, the Lykovs relied on agriculture, fishing, and hunting wild animals for survival. Despite the harsh conditions they faced, the family managed not only to survive, but to thrive. They constructed their own shelter, cultivated vegetables, and raised livestock for sustenance. They even crafted their clothing from animal hides and found solace in music by creating homemade instruments. Cut off from the events unfolding in the world, the Lykov family did not know about the Second World War or the events thereafter. However, in 1978, a group of geologists flying over an unexplored area stumbled upon a hidden clearing revealing their primitive dwelling. They came across the Likov family and were shocked to find out that the family had remained isolated from society for decades. The daughters spoke a unique language and were unfamiliar with modern concepts like cities and bread. However, the excitement of first contact was short-lived. Tragedy struck when all the family members, one by one, succumbed to harsh conditions, leaving Agafia as the sole survivor. Despite their years of seclusion and tragic end, the Lykov family's remarkable tale of survival against the odds continues to captivate and inspire. Number 1. The Monkey Family This family from Uganda is grappling with a challenging medical condition. Consisting of three children born with microcephaly, the family has a heart-touching story to share. Microcephaly is characterized by an abnormally small head size in infants and can lead to issues with brain development. The mother revealed the physical challenges her children face. Born with low weight, minimal body fat, and disproportionately small heads, the children have been subjected to hurtful labels from fellow villagers who referred to them as the monkey family. Various factors can contribute to microcephaly, including genetic abnormalities, maternal infections like the Zika virus, 
or exposure to harmful substances during pregnancy. Unfortunately, the children in this family appear to struggle with physical development, compounded by bullying and discrimination. Microcephaly affects an estimated 1 to 10 babies per 10 to 1,000 taos live births worldwide. However, certain regions or populations may experience significantly higher rates. The Zika virus outbreak in Brazil in 2015, for instance, saw a drastic increase in the number of babies born with microcephaly. The unfortunate family sheds light on the challenges faced by individuals and families affected by microcephaly, emphasizing the importance of compassion, understanding, and support in navigating the complexities of such medical conditions. Well, that's all for now. If you loved this video, be sure to check out this other one on your screen. It will blow your mind.